find a group of friends that kind of like just like anime. It's kind of like a weeby name. name. Yeah. Oh, it, it is a weeby name. Okay. Weeby. Yeah, that's the whole joke. <laughs> so like, it's just finding. Amber doesn't look like he's interested in the. He's not. Eastern arts. He's not, but like, we kind of dragged him in, and he's oh. just like, okay. <laughs> because he plays Gunner. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I mean, Tainanir is kind of the same way. They're like the token white dudes and the eight all of, like, group. But anyways. Like, but I, w I would believe that Tainanator watches anime. If you told me that Aimer watches anime, I'd be like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like, like Netflix animes? Is that what he watches? Evangelion? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but YMCA, you know, you know. veteran here in, at Wednesday Night Fights in MSM, usually performs very well. Aimer uh, used to show up almost every week in Smash 4 days. Now it's it's uh, less often. Like probably like once every other week. I would say it's about every other week, yeah. yeah. And I think he only comes to Wednesday Night Fights. I haven't seen him at MSM in a long time. Uh, it's mainly because of work. Yeah. I mean, that's understandable. Yeah. I mean, and then the interesting thing is that, you know, YMCA, everybody knows him for the DK, but, you know, he's kind of feeling the, the pressure of, like, DK low tier main kind of, like, gets struggled. So he's picking up other characters. He's picking up Wario, trying to see, like, who can work out. So, and yeah, I'm wondering if he's going to pull out the, the Wario in the matchup just because Gunner, his entire kid, just like, you are not getting in if you're a big body character. I don't know. I don't ex I don't ex expect uh, YMCA to at least start DK game one. For those who are wondering what screeching is, uh, we have some Fortnite kids here. Oh lord! So, if you hear something that sounds like a dying cat, that's what that is. But anyways, yeah. So, DK, where's DK. the DK? Put it, put on the tie. And here we go. Game one, Aimer versus versus YMCA. I mean, the characters we expected to see. Yeah. Here we go. Not exactly the stage I was expecting, though. I mean, FD, I can see how it can like work for both players. Up the city skyscrapers. Right. Dash, 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 oh! the fair. No, the, the Gunner has a good recovery at the very least. Still though, amazing start for, for YMCA. Sometimes it's not about taking the stocks, it's about sending a message. Right. I know, like, Aimer is not going to let him... I was about to say he's not going to do that uh, uh, lying down, but, you know, YMCA is showing that, like, maybe he should, like, respect him a little bit more. Yeah, right very now. explosive start. And as you can see, YMCA running right off the right off that building, chucking Aimer into the blast zone. Here's the go, here's the re-grab, here's the up air, and... And again, this is where DK kind of struggles, is in this disadvantage state. Mm -hmm. You can see the drag down to up tilt, but now that YMC was able to land, puts a good amount, a little bit of damage onto Aimer, but Aimer with a fully charged shot. Right. Clean up that stock. Oh, going off the top right there, so. And again, YMCA, here's the re grab, and no, not time to punish it. Here we go, just in there, and not going to get the tech chase on the. The I like how, how YMCA is landing with down Bs. Just in case that uh, you know he does catch Aimer on the approach. I mean, if he does land it, you know, uh, it combos into up smash, combos into up air, and ooh, that back air nearly taking it, but you know, eating a good 30% off of that full charge shot in response. Oh no, he's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. So that was twice. Twice in one game, but you know what? Up throw up air, you know, DK not really gonna have a lot of escape options there. We are at even stocks for final uh, the final stock. Okay. I like that using the down beat to kind of read the tech chase. You kind of just don't have to roll, read anything. It's just like, oh, he's gonna roll, he's gonna get hit, he's gonna normal get him, he's gonna get hit. It's a really good like cover every game thing option. Another grounded up B from YMCA. I'm gonna give YMCA the armor he needs in case Aimer is trying to like just use projectiles to, to create space. Here we go, throws him off stage. Oh, that shield looking mighty small right now. So, and again, he's gonna have to 
really, really careful how he plays defensively. More forward air is coming from, YMC, uh, from Aimer, but YMCA throwing another helicopter punch. And that is game. And no that's way. The three third. for three. Three for three. <laughs> Chucked him like a football into the end zone. Just go. That's horrible. Whoosh. I mean, before at least like they could mess up with Ding Dong. I mean, I'd argue Ding Dong was worse just because like he would, if he got grabbed at 80, he would die. At least this one, like you, you get grabbed at like 130. That's die. true. You have to be like kind of near the ledge or else probably not going to work. If you get grabbed center stage. You might be able to match up. Oh, switching controllers. Okay. Yield controller, Johns. Uh, my button wasn't working. Maybe it wasn't. I mean, yeah. Maybe I mean, that could be. A, that honestly could be a valid excuse. You know, like if your buttons aren't working. If you're not feeling right with the controller, like switch controllers. You know, if it's wrong, it's wrong. And if it isn't, then like, you know what? You know, at least you tried. Okay, well, we have Halbrid Omega. Another final destination pick. I like what uh, YMC8 does when he's trying to break through uh, the the projectile zoners. Is that he kind of waits for them to throw out the projectile and then he rushes in to punish the end lock on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very smart, intuitive play from YMC8. He's even approaching. Um, he's even giving the aerial approach too. Now that Aimer's like starting to stay in shield more, because YMC has been able to get in Aimer's face. Carry to get the punish. Just can barely avoid the up air, but not going to be able to avoid the charge shot right there. And Amber takes the stock one. Oh, but well that's going to be a good callback from YMCA right there. And again, both players. Oh my god, I, I saw the dash attack off the ledge. I'm like, is he going to go for the down tilt down air? but not going to be able to quite find it. Oh, getting the missing player work. Not getting the raw back air that, that YMCA wanted, but now we see back air. Another parry into up tilt is keeping Aimer above YMCA, and now even throwing out a couple of up airs. Ooh, I like that, you know, using the charge shot to interrupt the, the Kong spin. That's right. He was able to, like, just roll around the armor, too, so that armor is not going to be utilized by YMCA, and he's going to lose the stock for it. with an air, not gonna work, but oh, oh, armor! But it doesn't matter when you can just drag your opponent to the edge of the stage to get that spinning Kong. Straight bullied him into the corner. That's so unfortunate for Aimer. Now you can see Aimer retreating right back to these ledges. Making such great use of Nair. Not sure where your opponent's gonna go. So there's one up there, not gonna find another one. You know what, now it's DK's turn to kind of uh, bully Gunner. 94% forward air into up air. Hammer's looking at kill percent. There we go. There's a back air. He's looking for another one. Not going to be able to find it. But here's the get up option. I like that. And I'll drop down ledge and fire a projectile when you know he's turning up a flash pack. Very patient play. Not only on the recovery, but the ledge as well. But ooh, eating at armor. Now we see that YMC taking control of this ledge once again. Another back air connects. Aimer, good air dodge. And that is going to be the game. You get to grab at 120, and that will be it. Oh, such great playing game, too, from Aimer, too. Yeah. Hate to see it happen like that. Just such great play from both players, and then grabbed in GG. Yeah. I mean,. DK is like one of those scary characters where like you get grabbed at any percent and you're not gonna like it. You get grabbed at low percents, that's just like a uh, cargo throw up throw up airs, you know. At like mid percents, you know, that's gonna be cargo throw and then potentially like